Here we go with card two. We want to um, take your card base, have your mountain side up. Mountain side means the raised side size uh, side of this um, scored line. And we're going to fold the outer edge into right to the to the right of the crease of that score line. And then crease it. Turn around, do the same thing again. And bring that right up to the other piece that you just scored. And score that. That's going to prepare your card for these pieces. So now we're going to take our pieces. And it looks like we're going to prepare. Um, let's see. We're going to prepare the the um, light uh, acorn piece. Um, just gently rubbing the sponge on ink pad and pounce on the cardstock. Okay, so here we go. Grab this. Grab your um, uh, acorn, or if you don't have it, toffee, and your sponge. And we're just going to pounce on this, giving it a little texture. Another thing you could do for this, remember we just did that dry embossing on card card one. That would be another thing. You could draw some lines with dry embossing on that. You could take your shimmer brush and tap on it and do some cool uh, background on that. There's so many different th ways you can use, utilize um, your products to make a uh, texture look or a background not be so plain, okay? So now, this is gonna go on here. I feel like my, I'm not very straight here, so let me make sure I'm straight. Now, it says a quarter um, inch away. Remember, we were talking about that, but it might be a little bit less, so you may not need that. It's going to really be more of an eighth of an inch the way that I'm going to do this card. So from the top or from the bottom, it looks like a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to revise my video to say only if you make in the cards the normal way. If you're going to make them my way, then you're going to want to make this more of an eighth of an inch away from the side. And then a quarter inch from the bottom. And again, I've got a glare going on, so I'm gonna put in an eighth of an inch because I want these to fit on this half of the card that we have just cut. All right. Well, not really cut, but folded differently. Okay, now this piece. You could distress these edges around the outside edge if you want, if you like that look. Now this time we're gonna go quarter inch from the top so this one's quarter inch from the bottom. This is gonna be a quarter inch from the top. So let me get my glue on. And then make sure that it doesn't go over the fold. So let me put my quarter inch. Well, you know, it's funny that it, it really isn't that much of a difference. So if you wanna make it a little bit less than a quarter inch, you can just to, it's supposed to kind of go zigzaggy, but really a quarter inch from the bottom leaves it at about a quarter inch from the top, so I'm not sure quite why, how they did that. So, now this is the important part. Okay, I'm gonna open this all up so I want you to be able to see. I'm gonna go closer to an eighth of an inch. Make sure that you are are lining it up against the, the inner fold of that card because we don't want it to come off of this. We need it to be able to close, okay? Now on this side, I don't know what is going on here, but this is very weird. I think it, uh, I think this might be the mistake that I saw. So it's not really the left side, it's the top and the bottom, but that's okay. We're gonna just keep working with this same kind of a structure. Now this one is the, what is that color? I don't remember. Mist? Is that mist? Okay, so it's still gonna be the same look here. You can do it. Um, I see now that it was more of an eighth of an inch from the bottom for that first piece. So we'll just go eighth of an inch this way. 
and make this a little bit. So they're just kind of supposed to be kind of zigzaggy. So as long as you do that, it doesn't matter. Okay, so up, down, up, down, right? And then the last piece we need to prepare too. And why does this look so short? Did I cut that wrong? Nope. I think this must, uh, no, no, where is it? Okay, here we go. Yes, because it doesn't go all the way to the edge. So this one, grab your stamping. We could have done this at the beginning, but I didn't. <laughs> grab a block. And then we're using rosemary ink, which I did not bring. Let me grab it. This is why I'm never going to be one of those famous YouTubers, <laughs> influencers, because <laughs> I'm so haphazard on some of this stuff. <laughs> All right, so rosemary ink, and we're going to use these little uh, 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 sparkles here. So let me bring those close so you can see. Yeah, I'm never going to be one of those influencers because I've just, I'm, I'm not so professional. <laughs> I'm just myself, you know? And myself is more of a spontaneous person, not um, a big planner, and certainly not good at like the graphic design and the filming and all that stuff that everybody does. So we're just gonna do some random stamping. I just put them on there next to each other because we can spin them. Definitely when you're random stamping, go off the side because random, right? Random would not be everything inside of your spot. So there we go, that looks great. All right, put that away. Now this one is back to going up towards the top. This says quarter inch, so we're gonna do eighth inch since I got it wrong the first time. So we're go kind of doing opposite of what they've got measured out there because the measurement isn't quite right. Okay, right there like that. And see how that's gonna open? Nice and easy. All right, next part. So we've got this bigger piece. And it is, where is my strip? Is this, is this the piece? No. Am I missing something? I might be missing something again. See, again, <laughs> the uh, non-YouTuber in me. Let me check real quick and make sure I got the right piece. Okay, found my pieces. So let's uh, do a little of the stamping and the sponging. So grab your acorn or as I have toffee, your sponge. And around the edges of this piece, we're going to sponge lightly. All right, like that. Well, I just tried a new recipe. Uh, my family is doing Asian for um, Christmas, Asian food, because we all love it. <laughs> and uh, this is the first time, and so um, none of us are good at cooking Asian food. We're going to go with the Noel here. Um, so <laughs> I think everybody's trying recipes for the first time. So I was in charge of the lo mein. So I just made it as an experiment. And it tastes good, though. I don't know how um, close it is to actual lo mein, <laughs> but it does have a good flavor to it. <laughs> so we'll see how they like it. All right, so get this lined up. I already seasoned it. So, are you guys uh, trying new recipes for <laughs> the holidays? <'Cause laughs> I'm just not sure about mine. All right, so we're going to use pine on this Noel. And now this is a solid stamp. So because it's solid, you're going to want to make sure you've really seasoned it well and then you've really inked it well. And the way I tell is I look through it and I see, are there any um, missing spots? Now you're going to have those little bubble looks, so that's normal. But I'm just looking to see, did I miss anything? And then I just I'll tap a couple more times to really get that in there. And then it's very, very important to press hard. So I'm going right in the center here. What a beautiful stamp. What a beautiful color. And I'm just gonna press down there and let that sink into the paper for a minute. And then let's see how we did. Okay, I'm making a mess with all my inks around here. So let me get them out of the way. And that was pretty much perfect. Okay, now we're gonna put that on this piece. And hopefully I don't have any more missing pieces here. 
and that goes right in the center. And this is going to be our little accent piece that uh, is going to make the card look cool. So um, here's what we're going to do. I want, because now if this was a whole piece, and I would love it to be a whole piece, if it was a whole piece that went behind the Noel, I would do this with a whole Noel. But because it's not, I'm going to pretend to put the Noel on there as if it was the normal card. And that means it was going up one and an eighth inches from the bottom. So if that goes up one and an eighth, then this piece here is going up, it says seven eighths, but it doesn't look wide enough for that. So I'm just going to pretend to put this down at one and an eighth and maybe just tack it down just slightly. And then we'll see if I put this down, this would, this is about a quarter inch. So we'll see if their number is right. So it does look more like seven eighths. So they're saying, yep, seven eighths. Okay, so seven eighths from the bottom is where this is gonna go. And so I'm gonna put a little adhesive on it. Now we're gonna cut this in a minute, but I'm gonna tack it down first, top and bottom. So let's do the top. No, it doesn't, I, it, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've got my Noel down. I'm gonna tack that back down again. And that is at one and an eighth. I'm gonna line that back up the way it's supposed to go. One and eighth, and I'm gonna just put this over the top of it. So the other way to do it, if you don't wanna put, whoops, needs to be about uh, an eighth of an inch from the side. The other way um, to do this, if you don't wanna put the Noel down like this, is to go ahead and just put this up at seven eighths. And um, then the other one, it's not really saying. So it's really easier to do this. So just tack down your Noel for a minute just with one little bit of adhesive. And we'll get that off in a minute. Okay. And this is gonna go just slightly off to the side of that acorn piece. Now we can pull this up. And I'm gonna grab my glue eraser with that tiny little blue bit of glue we used to hold that down. Now, we want to cut this, let's get your small scissors, right on the opening, it shouldn't be too hard, of that card. So once there, and then up a little bit more, and then like that. And that'll leave that on the card. The other thing we want to do is we're going to take, oh, and I haven't cut them yet, so I'm going to get that in a second. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach these. Now, this one is supposed to kind of go under this because we're, but we're doing this a little bit differently. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to cut a straight line across that, kind of like that. Get your glue. You do not have to put the glue on every little bit of this. It's got a lot of little branches and then just press that right up against as if it was under there. And then the other one is just gonna go across like this. Just make sure it doesn't cross the center line what you cut. So get a good amount of glue though because since you're just gonna put it down the middle, you do want it to be staying. And just like that. Okay. And then our Noel. You're gonna need your red tape again. Here's our Noel. We're only going to, to put it on one side and it's gonna go right there. So it goes right across the whole middle between those two pieces of rosemary. But no putting it on this side because we want it to open so the card's kind of cool, got a cool opening. So the only place you're gonna put your red tape and you wanna use red tape or something very strong, strong adhesive, this kind is not gonna probably work well because people will be lifting it. So let me grab my red tape again. It's floating around here someplace. And 
we're gonna put it right here in between the two rosemary pieces. I just gotta find the start. <laughs> All right. So do you get, does your family ever switch it up with some uh, non-traditional food at Christmas? My mom does. I think last year we had Mexican. So because we meet for Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, she usually does a traditional Thanksgiving, but then a, a different type of Christmas. I don't know why, because we all love turkey and, <laughs> and uh, dressing and mashed potatoes. But speaking of that, it's so funny because my husband, it was a little sad to hear, even though he loves Chinese food, you know, he's a little sad to hear that's what we were having on Christmas. So he said, well, can you make a turkey? And <laughs> I said, sure. I will make a turkey. Of course, I'm buying the just the turkey breast, so it's really easy to cook. And I looked, and it only takes 15 minutes. I'm going to lift it all of this stuff up now. Let's see. Might be better with my scissors. Um, so, yeah, so Sunday, the day before Christmas, um, for my son and my husband and I, we're going to just have a turkey and mashed potatoes, gravy, dressing, and probably some kind of vegetable. And maybe, I don't know, maybe some pumpkin pie or something. I'll, though I gotta say my um, local grocery store does make this, um, I think it's called a crostini. Not sure, but it, it looks like a little mini pie. And it's really only big enough for like two people, but it would work for three. And uh, I might get that with a little ice cream or a little whipped cream for it. And that would be our dessert. There we go, okay. So, now this is only gonna stick on this side. So, because this is so sticky, get it right the first time. Put it right to the edge. Line it up between those rosemary pieces. And this side will be non-stick. So that you can do that, All right? Now we've got one little thing left. It looks like we're going to write joyu or something like that, however you pronounce it. Um, it's a French word that means joy. So where is that right here? Okay. Anybody know how to pronounce that? Joyeux. <laughs> I went to France last year and I'm going to France again this year and I know very little French. Just bonjour, pretty much. And merci. Merci beaucoup. Those are the ones I learned. This is going to be in... Mm, let's see, it says sponge the edges with acorn ink and then um, stamp with mocha. So, here's my mocha. And right in the middle. I'll pull that up so you can see it. And then we're going to sponge with either acorn if you have it. Or toffee works. I'm a little upset about my missing acorn. So I sure hope that it shows up and I don't have to um, rebuy a whole new one. Ugh. Boy, I hope this is, is uh, got enough light on it. I have three lights on this, but it, this room still gets pretty dark. Okay, let me put the ink away. And then we're gonna put this on some shimmer trim. So grab yourself about just a little bit over an inch, and that has to, both of them are gonna have to be dovetailed. So dovetail this. And this would look good without being dovetailed too. So if you're not good at dovetailing, you can just uh, skip it and keep it straight. But up the middle is how I do it. Up the middle and then meeting on each side. I hope you can see that. And then we're gonna um, put this on. Let me get a scrap paper so you can kind of see. Okay, I'm gonna put this on here now. I uh, think I'm gonna use this red tape again because um, when you're putting on uh, something on texture, something as textured as, as shimmer tr trim, you really need some good adhesive. So this is a little bit wide. 
for this tiny little thing. So I'm gonna trim that off and then pick up the edge. All right. So my reward for getting these done today is to go to my one of my local secondhand shops. One one is um, more uh, very very for affordable, and one is a little more upscale, bigger things like you know real furniture and stuff like that. And I've got to go there today because I'm looking for a cool lamp. I've been watching some decorating videos and. One of the things they said was to pick a uh, color that you wouldn't usually put with your what what your what your other colors in your room are um, to cause tension. Actually, they call it tension in the room, and that just adds a little spark in the room. And uh, so, because my colors are um, like a turquoise, my couch is turquoise, and then I have a chartreuse uh, love seat, and then a gray. Um, regular seat. Um, I'm going to go with melon, which is across from it, across from the uh, turquoise on the uh, color wheel. And so we're going to, we're going to try this. Let's pop this up with some pop tape. And so I'm hoping that I can find a really nice, unique lamp in that color. I'm going to put the pop tape right over the, um, the backing on the shimmer trim, I don't think that's gonna make any difference in how it sticks. But if you feel uncomfortable about that and want it to, to, to stick extra well, you can go ahead and take that backing off the shimmer trim and then just put the pop dots over it. But I think it's gonna work just fine without it. So I did go on the Amazon yesterday. I was looking for melon lamps and they had a lot of really cool looking shapes that would be a real standout piece. And, uh, but I want to see it in person. So I'm going to go to my little secondhand shop and see what I can find. Okay, is that so cool? Right, that's good with that part. So we want to just add some nice little gold dots. And let's see, I think we're probably going to use a little bit of that um, stickles too, because I see uh, maybe something cool on this to make that spark up. So let's uh, find some spots for where these can go. I can see right around these bows, 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 bows. Oh gosh, who knows? That would look really good with those. And I'm just gonna put three, two little ones. Now, if you don't have these, any, any of your cool sparkles will probably work as long as they're complementary color there. And let me just use a little bit. I'm just gonna put, I think it where these little diamonds are, I'm gonna put the tiniest dot of this platinum color. Barely touching it, I think. Just a tiniest dot. You know, you're hardly gonna see it, but I think it adds to the card. And there. And there. Just a tiny bit more there. Okay. So there is our cool card. Isn't that awesome? Something so different. Now, if you don't like the look of that crease in there, you can take a piece of the colonial, uh, or of what, French vanilla, French vanilla, and just put a, a new piece uh, of it there for your um, note stuff. But it works just fine like this. Okay, on to our next one.